This is a smart water meter and it could help our customers to save money on their water bill and help us to find leaks quicker. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, welcome to The Science Behind with me, Guy. Today I'm at our office in Bradford and I've got my colleague Alison with me. Hi Guy. Hi Alison, welcome back to The Science Behind. Thanks very much. For those who haven't seen, Alison was in our episode on AI for Water, so it's her second appearance and check that video out in our description below. But Alison, what do you do for Yorkshire Water? So I am the lead campaigns advisor, so I look after all our customer facing campaigns um, and I get to do fun stuff like this and come and present the science behind. Excellent. And what are we doing today on the science behind? Today we're going to find out more about our smart meter rollout. So we need to go to Sheffield to meet our colleague James and he can tell us a little bit more about the work they're doing. Perfect, let's go to Sheffield. Let's go. I've come to our Sheffield office to meet James. Hi James. Hi Alison. So can you tell me a bit about your role here? Yeah, so I'm the manager of smart metering delivery and benefit realisation. We'll be exchanging 1.5 million smart meters uh, in the next five years, uh, which will consist of 1.4 million uh, meter exchanges, which are existing metered customers, and there'll be 125,000 domestic meter optant uh, new installations, which will be from customers who opt in to have a meter. What are smart meters? They're a new technology, uh, which will enable real-time data to help us spot and fix leaks quicker. How will smart meters help us in the future? They will help reduce demand, which will potentially mean we don't need to build new water treatment works. And can customers opt out of the exchange? This is a meter exchange programme and um, we are replacing meters that are ending near the end of our operational life, um, so therefore customers are unable to opt out. How will we use the data? The smart metering data will travel back to Yorkshire Water with an hourly frequency. This data will then be used in a compliant manner to help us spot and track leaks. To find the full list of the use cases, customers can visit the Yorkshire Water smart metering webpage where there is a customer privacy policy. Where are we starting the rollout? We start in here in Sheffield and uh, we've got some guys out in the field today, they're doing some installs. Shall we go take a look? Sounds good, let's go. We've got an exchange going on behind us, James. Why have we chosen Sheffield for the start of the rollout? So putting it simply, Sheffield has the highest percentage of leakage within Yorkshire, so we're starting here to get the biggest benefit from the programme. Why have we started the rollout now? A couple of main reasons really. Firstly, the current meters that are in the ground that we can see over there, the old, the old assets are at the end of their operational life, and uh, therefore they need replacing over the next, next five years before they completely fail. That's one main reason. The second reason is for the leakage benefit we can get from them. So the smart meters, as we've already spoke around, will be able to get us real-time data that will enable us then to fix leaks and find them quicker. And what does this all look like for customers? For internal customers, this is a little bit more complex because we need to make sure we book an appointment. Uh, there's going to be a booking appointment platform uh, and then this will enable customers to go online when, when invited to do so, to book that appointment. What will the meter reading process look like? So the way this programme is being built, the wireless network will be built before the meters go in the ground. So from the day we put the meter into the ground, we should receive data back to Yorkshire Water from day one which means customers will no longer need to submit readings to us, but they'll be able to view their usage online through the My Account. It's been great to learn more about smart meters. What else do we need to know? So I think it'd be really useful to go and meet Netmar. So Netmar are our lead contract partner who are building the wireless network. Should we go meet them? Let's go. Alison, please meet Don from Netmar. Hi Tom. Hi Alison. So what do you do at Netmar? It's my role as Site Acquisition Manager. It's my role to help find strategic locations to deliver our wireless network. What's Netmar's role in the Smart Meter programme? So Netmar delivers IoT solutions across the globe. Our overall role in the project is project management and coordination. What is IoT? So IoT stands for Internet of Things. An example of that is a water meter communicating over our network for billing and leakage detection purposes. How are we using it? So the network works in the background, it collects the data and passes it on to yourselves. How are you building the network? So we use a multitude of different assets, ranging from cell towers, existing infrastructure and residential properties. So here's the receiver that we have on this residential property. It's actually really subtle, you wouldn't really know that it was there unless you were looking. Can you talk us through the receiver that we're looking at? So as you can see we've got the antenna which is attached to the bracket, the white body is what you call the gateway device, then have a cable running down the wall which is called the PoE cable, power over ethernet, which travels internally and then plugs into a 3-pin plug socket. So is the customer paying to run this receiver? 
That's right, yes, it uses around 20 pounds of electric a year, it uses seven watts a day, but we obviously reimburse the customer for hosting the gateway device. James, what's the link between leakage and smart meters? Yeah, so smart metering is one way uh, of finding leaks. There's also lots of other ways that we, that we do out within Yorkshire Water. We have a whole leakage department there that have employed to, to help and support doing that. Okay, I'm going to hand over to Liam now. We're going to tell you a little bit more about leakage. Well, thanks, James. It's been really interesting to hear more about smart metering. So, Liam, how do we find leaks on our assets? Yeah, we do multiple things. We've got a uh... We have teams going out and walk around DMAs, that's been highlighted as high, high leakage or high use in the area. And then we go around listening to stop taps, listening to on our fittings, look at any high meters in the area. Uh, and we do a general sweep, sweep of the area and whatever we find, we go back, we have to reinvestigate it. Um, and there's obviously different ways we can do that. Then we use some of the equipment we've got in our vehicles, uh, like correlators, where we can send signals down the pipe work to try and locate the leak for us. Uh, we'll top sound it so we can uh, raise uh, any mains burst on it. We'll look at any stop taps we've got noise on it. We'll look at the private side leaks where we can then uh, isolate it to top stop taps to prove it's on private. Or we've got we can raise comp pipes or uh, look at installing new fittings to try and camera the mains if we need to. What's the difference between customer leaks and asset leaks? So with customer side leaks, obviously it's their responsibility. So they have uh, they have to fix them themselves, but we will do some investigation on it to try and either locate it down, prove it's internal or external. Uh, with regards to asset leaks for ours, you've got mains bursts, you've got obviously our assets we stop taps that could be on public, um, any hydrant leaks, comp pipe leaks. That's all our responsibility to go out and fix, find them, fix and repair them. Thanks for explaining about leakage, Liam. You're welcome, where are you off to next? I'm going back to Bradford to speak to another Liam and find out more about smart meter installation. I've come to our head office in Bradford to talk to Liam from M Group Water. So Liam, tell me about your role. So I'm head of operations at M Group Water and I'm overseeing the smart meter replacement programme for Yorkshire Water. And what's the role of M Group Water in the smart meter rollout? So we're responsible for planning customer appointments, scheduling the working day, installing the meters and managing the logistics. How will the smart meter rollout work? So we started in Sheffield in South Yorkshire and we'll make our way through the region over the next five years. We've got 1.4 million meters to replace, which means we have to do 170 an hour. So we've got one here. What does the installation process look like? So it's dependent on the meter location. If it's inside the customer's property, they'll be invited to make an appointment for one of our engineers to come install the meter. If it's external, um, it'll be a courtesy door knock and some calling cards left. The customer might not even know we've been. But in both cases, it's a small duration for the water being off while we swap the meter over. So that's it for this episode of The Science Behind. Guy, how did you find learning about smart meters? Oh, it was a great day, wasn't it? You know, going out with the team and James and finding out about it was going to help with water usage, help us find and fix leaks, and also looking at the network and how Netmore are being involved. Just a great day and just, yeah, really exciting. Yeah, it's a really exciting project and it's really going to help us make a difference as a business over the next few years. Definitely. And if you like this episode of The Science Behind, please don't forget to like the video. Subscribe. Share it with your friends so that they can see it. And, well, I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye. Bye. <laughs>